Okay, and the major difference here is that the RIP version 1 updates include the prefix, but they don't include the mask. So essentially what you do is that you look at the inbound update. So we see the inbound update here, 155.1, or 146.0. And if we were to look at, let's say like uh, from router, uh, we have router 6, then we have router 1, and we have router 3 in our particular topology. Okay, this prefix here is 155.1.146.0. When router 1 sends this update out this direction, it's including just the prefix, not the length. So what router 3 does is look at its own interface and say, am I in the major network 155.1.0.0 slash 16, which is the classful network? Then look at the subnet mask I have configured which specifically is 13.0 slash 24. This means that router 3 assumes that the inbound update should be a slash 24. But we'll see this is only with RIP version 1. In RIP version 2, it does include the subnet mask and the advertisement. So in most cases, if you were seeing this, it's basically a misconfiguration. But just to be clear about this, let's say we were to go to router 3 and we were to say show IP route 155.1.146.0. We could see it's a slash 24, and we're learning this inbound from router 1. Now, if we were to go to that particular link, which is running the RIP process, and let's say we have a misconfiguration here. Let's say that we, we don't think our subnet mask is slash 24. Let's say we think it's slash 25. If we then look at the show IP route 155.1.146.0, once these updates come back in, and if we look at the, let's look at the show IP protocols. It tells us that the uh, update interval is 30 seconds. So we're sending updates every 30 seconds, and they get invalidated after 180 seconds, and then we flush them out of the routing table after 240 seconds. Now, one thing to remember about these timers, though, is that they, they're not cumulative. They all start at time index zero and count up at the same time. So this means that when your update comes inbound, the invalid timer and the flush timer start at the same time. So what I mean by this is that if we have the, if we have the update come in here at time index zero, then once we get to 180, this is where the route is invalid. Then once we get to 240, this is where the route gets flushed. So it's, it's not 240 seconds after the, the route is invalidated. It's they're all starting together at time index zero and then uh, counting out. So we should see eventually once the updates got resent, and we look at the show IP route, now router 3 thinks that the subnet mask of the update is a slash 25. So again, this is only the case with RIP version 1, though. 